In this video, we will look at how to create an Envision Math assignment embedded within your Canvas course. First, you will start by clicking on Assignments, and then click on the plus assignment orange button at the top right of your screen. Uh, for this, let's do lesson 1-1. One -one. And then in this rectangular space right here, you can type your directions. Uh, directions, complete this page, press submit when finished. All right, and then the only other thing you need to do is scroll right down here and click external tool because Envision Math is considered an external tool outside of Canvas. And then in the search bar, we can just do a search for Envision. Let's find. And then just scroll down until you find the external tool that you are looking for. You might see, yep, Savvis Realize. So we will click on that. And then it will take you right over to your Savvis Realize Envision Math course. The first time you might have to click accept and a few buttons to get everything synced up. And then afterwards, you're right here. So let's just pick a random lesson. Um, since I did 1 1, I'm going to go to topic 1, lesson 1 and I will find what I would like to assign to my students. Now here's the only important part. You can only import one item. If you start trying to import more than one item to a single assignment, funky stuff will happen and it will not sync. So let's see, for today I want to import the solve and share. Once I've clicked that plus import button, I will go up here to import and then I will hit select. That's it. Now the only thing I have to do is scroll down, pick a due date, and then press save or save and publish. And then once the student comes here, they will see the actual page. They can click on it and they can interact with it. Let's take a look at what the student sees when they come to this page. Scroll down and there will be some buttons on the right side so they can interact and draw directly on the screen. If it populates. All right, so you can see right here along the right side of the screen, they can interact with it. And when they are done, there is a submit button. The great thing about this is then if you want to grade students work as the teacher, when you go to this page, you will see this speed grader right here. If you click on speed grader, once the students have submitted their work, then you will see every student's work right here and you can just flip right through to access all of your students' work, give them a grade, just press submit, you can even leave some comments for them.